Hey everybody, what's up? It's Leslie, aka Sun Bubbles. Today I want to talk about a fragrance that I recently purchased. It's from the house of Lori Rodkin and it's Gothic 2. So this is a very heavy patchouli based fragrance with notes of Madagascar vanilla, cloves, incense, sandalwood, frigopani, Indian patchouli, and patchouli. So when I initially got this fragrance, I immediately got a very starking resemblance to Angel by the house of Terry Mugler, which is this. When I first sprayed it, it smelled very similar to Angel. I found Angel to be more gourmand. The patchouli in Angel has a chocolate facet and it's very sweet and, and thick. And I found that the similarities ended there in the opening. And, and those similarities only lasted about maybe 30 minutes. Let's see the opening. After the opening starts to develop in Gothic 2, I found that it took a turn in a completely different direction. Um, the patchouli in Gothic 2 is a dirty patchouli. It's earthy. Um, it's really beautiful. And it kind of takes a small gourmand turn with the vanilla. I initially thought that, okay, well, it's gone after like three hours, but I was at a dinner and they could smell it on me hours and hours later. I had worn it to work that day. I had some things to do and I went out to, to dinner and I thought that it was more subdued. I didn't reapply because, you know, you're going out to dinner with people you don't want to um, have a strong fragrance on. So I thought it was long gone, but people actually commented and said, wow, I, I actually can smell it stuff. I was like, you do, do you like it? They're like, yeah, and they wrote down the name. So they did like it and I did get compliments on it, which is good because, you know, you kind of think that, okay, well maybe this might be a little bit too casual for the atmosphere, but it actually went over well. I think that this is a very good casual fragrance and it's a great everyday fragrance if you love patchouli. This could easily be a signature scent if patchouli is your thing and you like vanilla, you like a little bit of sweetness, but Angel is like too overpowering because Angel, Angel can be a difficult fragrance to wear if you don't love it. It's very overpowering and it's very strong, but it's beautiful. I, I love Angel. I can tell you the resemblance between Lori Rodkin and Angel are very slight, and it's very important that you let your fragrances rest, especially if they've been in transit and they're being mailed to you. It is important to let them rest because I, where I live, it's, it's hot, so the fragrances, a lot of times I notice that when I first receive them, they smell differently a few weeks down the line. It could be two weeks, it could be a month, it could be six weeks. You have to let the fragrance settle and rest because if it's been transported out in the heat for like, you know, seven days, it does affect the fragrance. So you have to give it a chance to kind of rest and settle back in. So once the fragrance settled down after a few weeks, I would say about a month, this smelled less like Angel than when I had first gotten it. So when I had first received this and it was transported in the heat, the opening was a dead ringer for Angel. But as this fragrance rested now, in the opening, it's just a whisper of Angel. And, and, it, and it definitely changes and you get the vanilla. I get a lot of that vanilla in the base as it dries down. I don't really smell a ton of incense. I don't really smell a ton of cloves. The main two notes I get off of this on my skin are the patchouli and the, and the vanilla. I don't get a lot of the other notes. I certainly don't get any florals, but that could be the frangipani mixed with the vanilla. Gives it like a little sweetness and a kind of butteriness, but it's, it's, the vanilla is prominent with the patchouli and I love it. I actually really am glad that I got this because I wanted something that was just a dirty patchouli but really beautiful. It has that gourmand facet to it. Like the patchouli in Coco Mademoiselle Intense, that's not the patchouli that's in here. This patchouli is a lot dirtier, which, which I love because if you're looking, if you love patchouli and you just want a patchouli fragrance or you like something that's a little bit sweet but not too, too sweet, this is a great, great fragrance to have. 
So that was my review for Lori Rodkin, Gothic 2. I'll see you later. Bye.